Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's really, really good to have you here. Um, so today is gonna be round canvas day. I'm gonna use a 40 centimeter diameter round canvas and I'm gonna use a, um, a titanium white base with some blue tones on top. I'm gonna to do the Dutch pour. I'm gonna see if I can create some cells and some lacing. I'm really excited about this piece. I, I very rarely work with round canvases, but I'm gonna use the negative space to try and enhance the design that I want to try and create. It's in my head. I'm gonna see if I can get it onto the canvas and let's see what we can create. Okay, so I have prepared my base. This is Titanium White by Montmartre and I have torched the, the base just to get rid of all the air bubbles. There's a consistent layer on there, so it should, um, it should help me with the design. Now I'm using a different range of paints today, um, a mixture of Amsterdam and System 3 acrylics. Um, so, it's in my head, let's see what we can create. I'm gonna start off with a sky blue. Now what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm going to do two separate kind of puddles and I'm going to blow out from those puddles and see if I can create that negative enough negative space but a good design so let's see what I can do okay so sky blue first I know what I've got in my head and sometimes it's just about getting what you've got in your head on the canvas so this is Wedgwood I love the Wedgwood colour um, by System 3 acrylic it's uh, oh, it's, it's just a really good colour okay so Prussian blue we all love a bit of Prussian blue so I'm just layering these paints just to see if I can um, get a good consistency and uh, a good a good number of cells. I'm hoping the white will do that. Now this is a little bit of silver. I'd like the silver to help it pop. All the paints are a combination of opaque and semi-opaque so we should get a really good kind of design. Okay. I think add just a little bit more Prussian because I really want that dark tone to come out okay and the idea is I'm gonna blow this one up this one down just to see what we can get so I'm gonna add just a little bit more base paint to, to help it flow and let's see if that works Okay. doesn't look a lot but I have got a lot of paint on this canvas already so I'm going to get rid of the air bubbles okay. oh I think they're going to react I've got some cells coming up around here okay I'm just going to blow the white over first just to see what kind of reaction I get Okay, now we've got some cells and some lacing already appearing. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to have some white negative space in the middle and then I wanted to blow out the sides a little bit like a butterfly, a, a butterfly wing. So let's see if, if that works. Let's go for it. Okay, so 
as you can see, I've got some really good sales and lacing, but I have a block of colour here, a block of colour here, and it's almost kind of lost here. So I think, I think I'm going to need to blow some of this out. Because um, I think I've still got a little bit of, of white paint here. So, I'd also like a little bit stronger on the on the ends. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to layer this paint again, just down this, ooh, down the edge, just going on top. As I said, a little bit like a butterfly. Want too much to I don't want to swamp it. But I think I needed just a little bit more blue. Okay. Okay, so I've relayered those paints and I'm, gonna, and I'm blowing them out. But what you didn't see is I put my hairdryer on full speed and all that paint nearly ended up over me and the walls. So, phew, I managed to avoid a bit of a, a disaster. So I'm blowing the paint back out um, over the top of the original design. And as you can see, I'm getting those stronger colours and sides I intended to get. I'm really pleased that I um, I went back over with the paint and that's something to always remember it is only paint and if you don't like the design that you see firsthand then start all over again because this should be a fun process and i'm having lots of fun i just love these blues Love, love, love these blues. Okay, I'm gonna do some blowing. I really, really like this side. Let me turn it around so you can see. Okay. Not so keen on this bit here. But let me see if I can um, change that. Yes, yes, yes. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so. I can see some of the paints coming away from the edge. Now, that this is what I struggle with, with a round canvas. Um, but I've got the, the design that I had in my head negative space going through the middle, a bit like a butterfly wing. I'm gonna leave it like this because I can probably embellish some of these edges if I don't like them at a later date. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. What I'll do is I will take you in for a closer look. Okay, so as we go in and have a look, you can see some of the, uh, some of the cells that I was mentioning and all the different different blue tones in fact it's not like a butterfly is it i think when i relook at this it almost reminds me of somewhere like antarctica i expect to see a penguin roll out or a polar bear it's absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love it it reminds me of the winter and the snow and as i said antarctica Okay, so let me show you the dried version. Oh my god, I absolutely love this design. I think I'm going to call it Antarctica. I love all the blue, the blue tones. 
Um, let me know what you think. What do you think of this round canvas, this version that I've made? I love these cells. Look at those cells and all those different tones. I think it really gives it perspective. I love that part there. Just there is one of my favourite parts of this piece. I'm really pleased how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon.